how worrisome is it to you as a, as a naval leader, though? I mean, you know, the Pacific Ocean is as vast as it ever was. Uh, you know, the, the hot spots in the Middle East are as hot as they ever were. Right. You know, when you're a global force for good, uh, you know, your job is to be forward deployed and go do the things that uh, taxpayers expect for you to do. But yeah. yet, you know, a, a ship unmaintained is a ship that can't necessarily answer the bell. You know well, what I mean? Uh, you make a great point, Mike, and uh, and one of the things that we want to remind folks is that one of our big focuses here is uh, to preserve forward deployed readiness as much as possible. And so the decisions that we've made for this fiscal year, these belt tightening measures, are all designed to make sure that our forward deployed units stay as ready as possible out there and can do the things that they need to do. The next priority is to preserve the readiness of those what we call next to deploy forces, the ones that are getting ready to go, like the Truman Group, which you know is working up uh, right off the coast as we speak. Uh, so we're going to try to preserve their readiness so they can go. But when you start getting into these availabilities, these shipyard maintenance periods, when they start getting canceled, uh, it does it will have a ripple effect further on down the road. And so the next to next to deploy forces may in fact be impacted. And that does that is going to have an effect on some of that forward deployed readiness well into the future.